Guess who's back? It's your boy, D Change, coming at you with a daily day. First things first, what am I wearing? Yes, it is an Overwatch Diva hoodie from Jinx. Oh, yeah. This is my Christmas present to myself. Um, hairstyle because the past week has been miserable. So, <clears throat> earlier I had this idea that I would uh, make this video and talk about how this year, 2017 specifically, is hands down the absolute worst Christmas I've ever had. But it was saved by today. But let me explain to you why it would have been the worst <laughs> Christmas. Um, first of all, I got I got really freaking sick. Uh, I pretty much caught bronchitis. I went to the doctor, um, got meds, <laughs> was medicated for four days. And um, it's been, I don't know, a few, three days of non-medication so far. And I still, like, I still have this cough. I'm, like, I'm sore in the rib area, like, right here. Um, like, I was coughing violently for three days straight. It was awful. Um, uh, almost choke on phlegm, stuff like that. Uh, but the the whole, like, doctor's process was great. It was, um, I don't know if I talked about it before, but it's about 10 bucks to go see the doctor and go in and out. He looks at my my tongue, my throat, sprays a thing in my mouth, looks up my nostrils, then goes, bam, gives medicine. Ten dollars, okay. Go downstairs to the pharmacy. <laughs> Another about ten dollars to get, you know, antibiotics, probiotics to to I don't know, give me the good stuff, um, antihistamines and and uh, an expectorant to get rid of my phlegm. So I was like, Wow, look at this, uh look at this affordable health care going on over here. Um Considering, you know, my premiums are, what, like $100 a month or something like that. <coughs> oh, it really hurts the cough. God. So I feel a lot better now besides the whole, like, oh, I want to die every time I cough. Um, so one thing is I got sick. Number two is um, I went on this, uh, this date. So that time I went to the musical, like, I went on this date, and then it just ended up being like, hey, can we just be friends? And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but not just that, but like I had this, I guess I had this expectation in my mind about how Christmas would go. And, um, I just can't help but feel like I was just incredibly disappointed in just everything about trying to plan like a social thing for Christmas. I mean, granted I was, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I'm still, it's still really tricky. Like I don't want to get other people sick. I don't want to be gross. Um, but it's just, I don't know. I'm just like. Christmas fucking sucks in Japan. <laughs> it's just not the same as home. You know, at home, there's this expectation of family and getting together and having a feast and exchanging gifts. Or just, you know, overall, it's to me, it's now that I've been here for two Christmases in a row, for sure, like, I don't think I can make this a, a third a third year in a row occurrence. Like, I either need to get the hell out of here or um, I need to go back home for the holidays because like I dude I miss my family I miss the the tree like having a nice noble fur like a six foot noble fur in the in the living room and watering it and having the pine smell and just the feast and just cats and you know just the warmth of of being at home and and listening to Christmas tunes and like Christmas is really interesting here because it's a romantic holiday and it's like a it's like a Valentine's Day on crack with like it's like it's illuminations it's cold some chicks dress up as like santa miss santa claus and that's like sexy time or whatever but i mean i grew up with the whole just christmas carols family family get together you know hopefully extended family and friends you know like i would go to friends as christmas parties because you want to spend the holidays with your loved ones at least that's that's what i wanted to do so I didn't really um, get that at all this year. Um, everyone either had plans already or like plans fell through. And it's just, uh, it's difficult because no one else, I mean, the typical Japanese uh, working schedule does not, does not include Christmas as like a holiday or anything like that or a day off. 
So um, lo and behold, though, my freaking my buddy JP and Jared Pandita pulled through. He uh, ended up um, here in Japan for Christmas uh, for a, a sweet trip. And um, so we spent the day together. We got brunch. We walked around Akihabara. I showed him the uh, Kantai Collection arcade game. Um, we watched Star Wars, The Last Jedi. So it was my second viewing. And I have to admit, like, the second viewing, you know, really helps, um, made it a little more enjoyable for me. Like, I knew what to expect. I knew what to look out for. And um, the whole, like, my first impression of the first, you know, of the movie was that it was all over the place. And seeing it again kind of helps put things into perspective and, you know, help, I don't know, lets you, like, think about it a little bit more. Um, but still, it's. I'm not gonna say anything else about it. It's whoa, you know. It's a. It's kind of a polarizing movie. Um, and uh, and then we went to like a cafe, and I met his uh, his girlfriend, and it was really cool. So and then I I came home, like I ate and did some shopping. Finally, left the house for the first time. I haven't left the vicinity of like my share house and the combini across the street, the convenience store across the street, for almost like four like four days straight. I I actually ventured into McDonald's, which is like a ten minute walk away. Yesterday evening, that was my Christmas Eve. I went to McDonald's and got a Big Mac, and there was like this crazy lady who was like shouting and she was like attempting to sing Christmas carols and it was actually kind of scary because I had no idea what you know what was going on and it was like hilarious because I was like I just lost my appetite. I was like I'm I'm sick. I don't like I don't want to be here. I'm like I'm fatigued. I was I'm se- I was seriously depressed, dude. And you know, this lady is like freaking frightened spooking me, spooking the other customers. So I get up to like throw away my half eaten Big Mac and Coke and everything. And <laughs> freaking she's right behind me. I'm like, oh fuck. So like well, she didn't do anything. <laughs> she didn't do anything, but Man, that was like, whoa, oh my God, please don't, don't do your thing on me. I don't know. Um, yeah, freaking, I think the whole month of December I've been depressed because just a lot of, a lot of shit happened. Um, the, the, the third thing that's really, really fucked up my Christmas is that I haven't been paid for my job, you know, ever since I started. And that was like the beginning of November. And, you know, there's, there's a reason for it, like, in terms of cash flow and stuff but like i don't know it's just it really freaking sucks to to be like hey you like this money should have been here like three weeks ago and it's nowhere to be found i mean even in the japanese system where it's like we'll pay you a month after or like like two weeks after like the month ends like sure i'll accept that but man it's like dude it's christmas i <laughs> I'm actually running low on funds. Like, my Japanese bank account is, like, drying up. And that just goes to show that, like, my entire time in Japan has been a net loss. And I'm like, wow. Well, financially, I, I mean, honestly, experience-wise, this I wouldn't I wouldn't give this up. Don't get me wrong. But it's it's discouraging to, to have spent a year and a half here, you know, um, attempt to, like, bust my ass, you know, work and really, like, Pro- progress in my career and to see something like this happen like I'm just I'm in awe that like I'm not sure if I can afford to I can't like I I, I didn't buy an, a renewal for a commuter pass because I don't well honestly I don't know if I'm going to leave my I'm going to leave my area too many times in the next month or so but like that's not money I want to spend right now like until I get paid like I don't want to buy anything that's too expensive because that's going to buy, that's going to, you know, um, what do you call it? That's going to like bite into funds for something else that I might need later, like food. So it just, I don't know. It just sucks. <coughs> in before my boss is running an MLM and I'm just being, scammed in an extremely elaborate long con um and yeah so those are the the three big things where i got sick at a really bad time um social slash relationship things just didn't work out so great 
And three is like, you know, I'm stressing out about the money for my job because I didn't, I haven't gotten it yet. And so that, that, combine all that and just the, the nature of like Christmas here where it's just like a commercial holiday, go go get a girlfriend and, and take her to a hotel and, eh, you know, like, I don't know. There's like this like weird invisible pressure about it. And I don't know. I just, man... I was really, I was really down in the dumps this month, but I feel a lot better now because like legitimately, I, I mean, getting to, getting to like go out and like socialize again has really, really helped out. Um, so that's good. That's really good. Um, and yeah, it just, it just makes me realize like I'm in control of my own happiness. Like I really, I'm being a little bitch about this. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, it's, it's a terrible. I like, I, I know what I can do. Like next year, I should be the one planning out a get together. I should. Well, first of all, I should take care of my health. My my fucking boss, he admits fault. Like he he pushed me so hard during this this last month. He pushed me so hard in terms of like work and training, and in my personal life because he's the one who basically, um dared me so to speak commanded me commanded me to make this elaborate date night um that i got sick for so i, I went to this musical like fucking sick i was stressed out about preparing for it i was, uh, was fucking ridiculous so i'm i don't know i'm gonna shove a fist up his ass like the next time i see him but um we're cool like that you know we like to we can you know fist each other or <laughs> We're, it's really complicated. I, I know the whole thing is really weird and sketch. I'm, I have trust in him. I have trust in the company, but I will admit like I'm really frustrated and my patience is wearing thin. So that's something I'm talking to him about, uh, tomorrow. And then everything else though, like, I mean, let's take care of my health. Like I got, I got some vitamins. I've been resting a lot. Uh, I'm a lot better than a week ago, but I, I could be better. And then, um, yeah, like today was a great success. And then I hope that, you know, because I got a couple more friends coming into town in the next like week or two in the next month. So it's, I mean, it's still, it's still going to be pretty good. I had friends over, I had friends visiting earlier this month too. So, I mean, it's, it's. Yeah, there's there's a lot of blessings to count. And I, I was just in a dark place because I was in this feedback loop of just sucking. So, like, everything is just like, ah, everything sucks. So, um, but, yeah, we're, we're good. We're good, okay? I just, next year, I need to, I need to go home. <laughs> go home for Christmas or go, go take a trip or something. I need to chill out. Um, anyway, I'll keep you guys posted on what happens with, like my life the, the the work the money the money is it yeah like japanese style um and all that but um yeah i mean merry christmas happy holidays um happy new year in a week that's uh, kind of crazy that 2017 is coming to the close i'll save my uh year end recap for I guess the New Year's Eve or something like that, because there's still a week left. Like, I, I thought, man, like 2017 was crazy. There's only one month left, and then we're done. And it's like all this shit happens, and it's like it's never over. Okay, David, like you gotta. It's not over until it's over. If there's one more week. Crazy shit could happen. I just hope it's not not too crazy. Like like Bitcoin dropping 30 percent like fuck me like uh, i i picked a really bad time to put money into bitcoin <laughs> anyway um feeling pretty good or feeling better thanks for the support love you guys peace out and uh, see you in the next one